I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Ben. And I'm Demi. Today for our show, we have after-school class meetings, Pasco County commissioners are ready to run with the idea of building an indoor sports complex, and new clues have emerged from the wreckage of Metrojet Flight 9268. But first, let's head over to Bree for the weather. Hey there Mustangs, it is Bree with some weather updates. Today there is a high of 90 degrees and a low of 70. It is going to be partly cloudy with 65% humidity. Today is the hottest day all week. This photo behind me was sent in by Marco Kalili. He took this while driving home from the soccer practice. Great photo Marco. Keep sending in your weather photos, questions, or comments to at Mustang underscore weather. Demi, what's going on around campus? <music> Today in Campus News, there is a Mustang Game Creation Club meeting at 3 o'clock in room 740. There is Spanish tutoring in room 329 until 330. We are having our very first Harvest Festival today starting at 4 o'clock until 7. Make sure to be there. Key Club is meeting at 8 o'clock in the media tomorrow morning. We have one of Fox News pep rally for tomorrow morning. Make sure to be in the gym by 8. I expect to see not only the entire singing, but everyone there in white for the whiteout. Be there. Now let's look at Ms. Fulton's European trip video. Hey, I want to invite everyone to this fabulous trip we're going to be doing this summer. It starts June 16th. We're going to be going to Ireland to Wales, to Scotland, to England, and then back home. And if you want to go, come to my room, room 333, and I'll give you all the information. Pasco County Commissioners are ready to run with the idea of building an indoor sports complex to attract regional and national tournaments. At a workshop last week, the Commissioner asked its staff to prepare wording for requesting seeking parties interested in partnering with the county on the project. The request will go out in about three weeks. Those interested will have six months to present their proposals to the county. This is not a new idea. The county has entered into a public-private partnership to build a sports complex three times since 2001, but the agreements did not pan out. With the added clout of feasibility study by Johnson Consulting of Chicago, commissioners hope to be successful this time. 
Nella Toter Kayla in the sports cage. What's up, Mustangs? Kayla Wadier here in the sports cage. Tuesday night, our girls' volleyball team took on New Smyrna Beach in the regional finals and won, clinching their first ever berth into the state final four. State semis will take place in Ocala this Saturday at 2. Wednesday night, our girls' soccer team began their season against Eastlake and won with a score of 3 to 1. Their next game will be Friday at Gulf High School. This Friday, our boys' football team will take on golf in their last regular season home game. It is tradition for it to be a whiteout, so dress accordingly and show some school spirit. Kickoff begins at 7, so be there. That's all for me in the sports cage. Hey, what's going on with the college? Club. Shaughnessy, I'm the president of the Ecology Club. Uh, I'm Eileen Hedger and I'm vice president. The point of Ecology Club is basically just to raise awareness about the environment, how the human impacts uh, the environment, how it pollutes or how it protects it. Uh, and today we are cleaning up the campus, trying to just keep our beautiful campus clean. And it's sad to see that so many people pollute the campus, but that's what Ecology Club is here for, to keep everything New clues have emerged from the wreckage of Metrojet Flight 9268, prompting more speculation about whether there was a mid-air explosion and repair work from a previous accident may have played a role in the plane's demise. The aircraft, headed from Egyptian Resort to Shark Am Sheik to St. Petersburg, Russia, crashed in the Sinai Peninsula on Saturday, killing all 224 people on board. The plane's tail was found about 5 kilometers or 3 miles away from the rest of the plane's wreckage. The Russian state broadcaster, Russia 24 reported, the outlet had also said that the rest of the wreckage did not show any signs of burning from a fire. The distance from the tail to the rest of the debris could be very telling, especially since the tail was previously damaged. Now let's check on what's happening with Ms. Chamberlain. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Devin Blair, and I'm here with Ms. Chamberlain, the CRC. What's good, good morning, Devin. Good morning. <laughs> How's everything going? You know, I'm great. I heard you got accepted to college. You know what I did? Where are you going to go? Liberty University. Well, congratulations. I have in the CRC these awesome Accept You horseshoes for students, seniors who have gotten accepted to college. Would you like to fill it out? You know, I'd love to. There you go, Devin. <laughs> Tell us where you're going. Liberty University in Virginia. That is very exciting. Are you going to play soccer? I am hoping to, yeah. That's even more exciting. So once you fill out your accept you, Devin, go put it on the board over there. Okay. We want to see this full of all senior acceptances so we can celebrate your success. Seniors, if you get accepted to your college, make sure to come to the CRC and put your name up on the wall. Today for Weird News, police in Iowa City said Ross McDonald took drastic steps to avoid arrest on a drunken driving charge Sunday morning. He swallowed toilet paper before taking a breathalyzer test. McDonald was pulled over around 3 a.m. after officers noticed he was driving the wrong way on the road. Officers said McDonald seemed extremely confused and could not tell what bar he was coming from. He said that he had only consumed two drinks. McDonald's eyes were bloodshot, his speech slurry, and his balance unsteady, according to a police report. McDonald was taken to a processing room where he initially refused to take a breathalyzer test. However, he changed his mind after eating a bunch of toilet paper under the mistaken assumption that it would somehow interfere with the breathalyzer. The toilet paper plan didn't work. He blew a .165, more than double the state's legal limit. McDonald's was arrested and charged with third offense drunken driving, a Class C felony punishable by up to five years in prison. Thank you for tuning into the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Demi. And I'm Ben. Have a wonderful day.